Hilary Ingham, who's a senior lecturer in the Department of Economics at Lancaster University. Um, thank you very much, Steve, for speaking to us. It does look, doesn't it, like the UK faces a, a veritable winter of discontent. Well, that's what we seem to be uh, looking forward to. As you said, you know, the big news today is that the nurses have gone on strike because that really is unprecedented and it does take a lot for them to take industrial action. But at the same time, you know, we've got problems with the trains, we've got the postal workers on strike, we've even had university lecturers on strike. And then, of course, after Christmas, teachers and even junior doctors are threatening to walk out as well. So we are seeing industrial action on a scale that we haven't seen for many, many years. A lot of pressure on the uh, new-ish uh, Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. Uh, any signs that perhaps uh, he's in the mood to negotiate or his representatives are in the mood to find some sort of a compromise? Well, I think if they're looking for a compromise, it's going to be very much at the lower end of the scale, I something around 3% or 4%. I mean, the idea that uh, Rishi Sunak or the health secretary are going to come to a settlement somewhere near the 19% that is being asked for. It just isn't going to happen. I mean, all we see in the press is that, you know, the number one enemy for the UK at the minute is inflation. And if you give workers pay increases approaching 20%, that's going to further fuel inflationary pressures in the economy. So it isn't going to happen. And I really don't think he's going to back down because, in fact, Rishi Sunak has said he may legislate um, for these industrial action um, things. So he might actually say that certain sectors of the economy aren't allowed to go on strike or he might raise the threshold they have to get in order for it to take part when they have a vote. So he isn't going to back down, though. Yeah, you mentioned that, you know, inflation is public enemy number one. Similar story here in France and in lots of other parts of the world. Yeah. I mean, given that, you know, lots of people in lots of sectors in the public and private sectors are facing a, a rising cost of living, is there so very much sympathy for individual groups of workers that face the same inflationary pressures that everyone else faces? Well, I think when the, the rail strikes first started happening, then there was some sympathy, I believe. But if you look now, you know, we're, we're coming in the run up to Christmas. The last two Christmases have been disrupted by COVID. And many, many people were making travel plans, which have now had to be put on hold because they can't move around the country as they thought they would be able to. Again, I think there is sympathy for the nurses because we all know that they worked incredibly hard during COVID. They worked long hours. They were, you know, in, in danger of being infected. But I think it's a bit uh, nuanced here because people who have had routine operations put off, because don't forget NHS waiting lists are very, very long. And the time you have to wait is far greater than the government would like. And if you are now seeing that your scheduled operation for something like a hip replacement, which might not be viewed as urgent, but if it's leaving you a lot of pain and unable to move, it's very crucial to you. Those people are not happy with this situation at all. So where do we go to from here? How do you see events unfolding? I mean, do you just see massive disruption in, in a number of sectors before the government even entertains getting close to what the unions are asking for? I think we are going to see this continuing for some time. And I, I really think eventually there will be negotiations, there will be settlements, but I think they will be in single figures. And I think they will be at the lower end of the single figures. And I don't really think there's any chance that, you know, pay increases of 10% and above are going to be afforded to any group of workers. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. Hilary Ingham, Senior Lecturer at the Department of Economics at Lancaster University. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye.